Welcome back, fellow Armchair Generals. This is Gamer1745 here with my playthrough of Hearts of Iron 3 with Black Ice 8 and Third Reich events. Well, we're, we have started um, sea lion, Operation Sea Lion or uh, Sea Lion or however you would say that in German. Sorry, I gotta apologize to the Germans for my butchering of their language. Um, okay, I um, haven't rolled the clock, but I've been doing some tweaking to um, spies, production, diplomacy, things like that. You want a Darjeeling again? Okay, I want to send you up to here. To... You take this. We're pushing in Africa. More so. And we're trying to. We've successfully landed, but we're a bit can't get here we're a bit pocketed so yeah as long as we have supplies I'm not worried about this um, marine division being overrun by a few British garrisons so long as we're in supply and we're pushing the free French out of their last real stronghold in Africa okay we've won Dover because we just massively reinforced Dover Okay, everybody's still technically defending, and they're kind of attacking. Okay, no order. We're still pushing in Africa. Oh, we have a couple of decisions I think we want to do. Okay, we're going to do the 10th Panzer Grenadier Division. Hopefully it doesn't mess up any of our current um, weapons. That's an interesting picture there. Um, that's one of the... Uh, I get confused um, between the... Um, 250 and the 251. I think the 251 is the shorter half track. The longer one is the 250, or it's, it's one of the two. I, I, eh, my little bit of dyslexia or something, I just can never remember which one's which. Um, but that's the smaller version that was sort of set up for um, armored reconnaissance use. But what's really sort of interesting about that is the gun mounted on it. That's a Gerlicher gun. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, for, shall we say, short to medium ranges, it's very effective. The way it does it is where the breach back, you know, where the bullet goes in, is um, one um, size. And where the bullet comes out, the end of the barrel, it's at a smaller size um, setup, um, diameter, caliber, however you want to say that. Something like a um, 28 millimeter down to a um, 23 millimeter or something like that. And that's about that kind of caliber range in that um, weapon. So as the bullet goes down the barrel, it gets squeezed. Um, so it builds up a lot more pressure behind the bullet. And it works really well, like I say, for um, short, medium uh, ranges within this stuff. At the longer ranges, it just loses um, a lot of its energy and doesn't go very far because the bullets have to be um, fairly lightweight to do that. And the Germans developed it. It worked very well. They quickly stopped using it because... The ammunition, or at least an element of the ammunition that's going out there, requires um, either you know tungsten or um, a tungsten alloy of some sort. 
and that was very hard for the, the Germans to get. That comes under one of the rare materials. Now, it was also called Wolfram at the, at the time. I don't quite know exactly why the different names. Um, but a lot of it was found, I believe, right around in here um, on the Spanish-Portuguese border region. And um, Germany was importing just as much as they could. The British started, and the Americans, I think, picked up the program of buying as much of that um, mined resources as they could, and they just left it in big, huge piles because they didn't have any real um, ability to effectively get it out. And I don't think the Americans needed to. They just wanted to buy it to deny it to the Germans, so they were inflating the price and trying to keep it off, keep it out of the hands of the Germans. So there was a whole project I read this um, interesting book on, um, Neutrals of World War II. I think that may be what it was called, um, somewhere on my shelf over there. Um, and they talked about how the different programs of buying this up and um, sort of cross-border mining raids, whatever, um, with locally, um, people would go and dig up stuff to sell it and back and forth to the different sides. But the Germans couldn't get enough of this. And um, the tungsten is also used very much as, uh, within a, as an alloy setup um, to make machine tool, the drill bits and um, cutting bits and all of that type of thing for the machine tools that um, you need it harder than the metal that it's um, cutting. So if you're, you know, you're, you're cutting steel, you know, armored steel, you need something harder than armored steel. So, um, and it, uses it up. It's not a f easily effectively recovered off the, um, you know, machine room floor or whatever in any significant amounts. So the choice was, is do you, and it, and it wasn't so much, I think it may have been needed as an element of the barrel too, but it, it was the ammunition that you're consuming on the battlefield. Or do you use it in a more of a durable good to build a lot more um, weapons and it's like the machine tools that would drill out because to get the proper rifling in a, in any sort of barrel whether it's a um, a rifle barrel or a you know an artillery barrel you know 170 millimeter you need to drill it out it can be um, sometimes you can roll them and some technologies you may be able to cast but you still have to ultimately drill them out so you need to the drill tools to do that and to rifle it and so which are you going to do so the um, rare material shortage moved it over to um, with machine tools and also at about the same time the Germans were coming up with the um, hollow charge type rounds for both tanks and things like the um, Panzer um, fast and once they sort of copied and sort of improved upon the American bazooka with the Panzer Schreck, they, they were using those types of weapons as anti-tank weapons instead of uh, high velocity or hyper velocity um, anti-tank rounds. But uh, don't know if that at maybe real short point blank ranges that would maybe penetrate a T-34. Um, Sherman's much more likely, but this is, I think, basically less, even at the biggest end, is less than a 30 millimeter gun. So, definitely your, your light um, Stuart tanks, your, your um, Chaffee tanks, and um, T-60s and whatnot, that can penetrate fairly well. But So, that's just an interesting picture that... Basically, at some point, all those guns were withdrawn from service just because they didn't have any more ammunition for them. They just remounted something else on the, the things. This is sort of an interesting thing I noticed in seeing the photo. Okay, so we're going to put it in the production queue. Wrong button.
think for the moment we're going to leave out the... Not do those two, because we have those two units here getting ready to go over, or are going to be going over. So... base. support that. I am, think I'm sending supplies over there. Yeah, just needs a lot. The Slovakian division. On Singer und Etterlin, one of the more moral generals in the um, German army. I thought I had those guys look oh, I don't know. I thought I loaded them on board the ship, but I guess I didn't. Not paying attention well enough. Okay, well now we have more units here, so we'll get even more. Yes, I want you on board the ship. Don't know if it'll have been out by this time or um that I post this or coming up very soon after this. You guys might want to check out the episode 9 of um, Rome 2, the series going on. You can see me lose it. I really do get upset and lose it. Might be interesting to watch. Entertaining. Uh, let's see if we get some more units on board. Over there. Okay, now we can transport. There we go. Come on, we are. We're gonna go away, though. Flags look about the same. Okay. 
I don't want to get too many troops over here too fast because of the supply potentially problems. Okay, one. this river. Support the attack. Oh, they decided to approach a uh, kamikaze. Okay, not exactly sure what that does. Well, okay, they have way can they retake in midway yeah i know a few of you guys have wanted me to move some more forces over here and i have been slowly but okay good keep going these guys are going to be let's send them Get these guys here. Let's say I have been sending some forces in. Let's transport that and call the lat or whatever. There we go, supply them. Too far away, like I thought. Okay, we're good. let's rebase over to here. Saint Alina, we need to send supplies there. I'm sure. Yes, now we're getting more vulnerable with our supply convoys. Let's see, we've got a La Rochelle. Whereabouts would Saint Alina be here? There we are. So we're starting our island hopping down in the south. Good. Get the oil. There's oil here. Maybe not much, but... It'd be nice to have. Those are supply doing okay. Fairly well, I guess. We lost up here. Oh, these guys, okay. Oh, that is pretty bad. Okay, we'll get reinforcements and then come up and take them out.
Okay, we have one there. Civil, civil nuclear research has advanced. That's good. Okay, well, yeah, it's going too far forward. We're doing pretty well with most of these. We can do Blitzkrieg. And gun ability, twin engine planes. Battling at them, trying to stop our cross-channel movements. That's good. Okay, we're across the Thames. Still a bit worried about supply. Airfield control tower, okay, that's good. And they're throwing a lot at us there.
Iraq. Okay, we'll buy some crude oil. I want to see if I can get around and just cut these guys off and destroy them. Adolf. Adler shot. I'm in Paris. So a bit rich can get across the route. Okay, Ike. Gun position for engine airplane. Okay, we'll let that go. Ground crew training, that's good that that's improving. We'll let that go also. Attack ground, we'll let that one go as well. Portmouth, Portsmouth. Still worried about that. No, there's more supplies there. Good. We got supplies. Come on.
And yes, you're retreating Back to there. Good, we've taken them down. Sure, you can have the energy just as much as you want. Now, yes, we won again. You keep retreating more units to there. See, we're running out of, truly running out of supplies. Okay, well. Major defeat in South End. Here, okay. Not good, but okay. We got Oxford. The English aristocracy is going to collapse now. Not quite as bad as losing their tea, but almost. We 
require more supplies. Yeah. Okay, we won the battle. Of Eden. Good, finally. Slough. That always sounds like a not a nice place for some reason to me. Yeah, I'm from Slough. Sorry if any of you people have maybe a very, very nice place. I don't know that well I may have driven through it briefly, but probably wasn't aware of it at the time. Crystal. We get another port if we can take crystal. No fuel. Okay, armor unit command and control. Well, we must have probably got a few more. Leadership points from occupying places in Britain, so we'll keep pushing. Okay, let's see, there's there. In Cambridge, no, I don't want to see the battle. There's, oh, there's a lot of fortifications. Let's put some air power down on it. Well, get chewing up my air a bit. But that may have turned the tide. you back up there.
Just in case they come around. Mobile unit command and control. Battleship engines. I think that means we are probably now to we'll check it here in a second, but getting that much closer to Yep, battleship engines, okay. Maybe we'll learn finally that the British have been reading all of our messages. Nah, the British will probably evacuate. I'll, I'll build some stuff here in a moment. I'm really trying to see if we can get this cut off here, but soon. Okay. Yeah, we'll let that go too. That's sort of what we're doing right now is close air support. One another. Po well, well, we got um, Bristol. So let's see. Let's look at the supply situation here. All these units along the coast are just drawing too much supply, so we'll go from Rotterdam to Bristol. Did 
that will help the supply situation. Okay. I think a lot of those units there are some of the shattered units maybe from down in Africa. At least I'm still suspicious of that. Okay, well, let's head back to the port. It's now Vichy's. Worry. I'll take you out. Well, either South End, what is it, Maidens, Maidens, is it, am I missing, I know it's uh, Maidstow, but is it Maidenstow is how it's pronounced, oh, I don't know, but London was a major port at the time, why, why does it say Cambridge when I'm clicking here, London, it was a major port at the time, um, it wasn't until the age of the container, you know, the shipping container that they finally moved out the port uh, but either south end here or london should be a port as well there may be some good reason logical game reason that they well, they're almost exhausted going after those guys okay And they love attacking this spot, don't they? I'm moving into there and they're coming around. Taking Coventry. Installation security has advanced. Okay, so we've maxed out on that. And the Kaga is lost. I think that's a carrier. Change in command. After the last defeat, someone has to take responsibility. Um,
I'll lose the organization. I don't need the dissident. Reward our heroes. Yes, sir. We will do that. We gain back the popularity. Our new synthetic industry. That's good. Start working. Installation security searchlights. Okay. Cool. Okay, now that we are shipping in more supplies, hope we can No, I think these are supposed to be here to the room. Some good, some not so good units in that group. Over there. At least getting all these guys over here to be available to go across. Okay, well, I guess the complete surrounding and cutting off of London. We'll have to wait for the next episode here. Um, thanks so much for watching. Yeah, 19. Well, 84 garrison brigades are in London here. 19 engineers, 44 HQs, 14 infantry brigades. Bunch of specialists or unique HQs and such. Okay. So we'll want to cut off and destroy. Since that's a theater command, if I take that out, that may get some good stuff towards the surrender. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking the videos. Do appreciate it. Please post your comments. See you next time.